Welcome back everyone. Day two, day two of spring in December. Sunshine and temperatures in the mid 50s. We missed the record today by two. Yesterday we missed it by four. That was frosty again this morning, but temperatures warmed up rapidly. Clouds have moved in. That's change number one. There's some time for the sunset. Temperatures have dropped about 10 degrees with the southeast wind coming off the lakefront. Uh, and, well, the storm is on the way. It is now in the southwestern corner of the United States. Friday afternoon looks to be wet. It is beautiful out right now. Mid-40s, light wind. Tomorrow at this time, we're talking 30-mile-per-hour northeast winds and rain blowing sideways. Oh, it's going to be great. Uh, Saturday, snow and 30 to 40-mile-per-hour winds. Winter, just like that after two very nice days. You are more than likely going to be uh, shoveling or snow blowing on Saturday and not that the snow will still be falling on Sunday but I put maybe there just because you might put it off until Sunday to shovel and snow blow. There's the clouds rolling in. There's the cold front that's going to cool us down. We're not going to be in the 50s tomorrow. We'll be in the lower 40s. So when that rain first arrives, it will be rain. Uh, I should say that storm system arrives. There is the low pressure in the panhandle of Texas. Snow showers uh, northwest of Albuquerque and Santa Fe. There are some winter weather advisories in Iowa. No advisories here yet for the snow, but there is for the wind. There is a lake shore flood watch from tomorrow afternoon through Saturday evening, with those strong northeast winds, there will be some low-level flooding and also some beach erosion and bluff erosion, so please watch out for that. There's the wind tomorrow afternoon and evening, northeasterly at 20 to 30 miles per hour. On Saturday, north to northeast at 30 to 40 miles per hour. It is going to be blowing those snowflakes around uh, to the side on Saturday afternoon. Just a slight chance of rain in the morning. It starts to pick up in the late morning and it becomes likely all afternoon and into the evening and overnight. The question with this storm is that when will that rain change over to snow? Will it be raining for the kids in the afternoon? Not the morning. It'll be cloudy in 37. Rain showers likely and a strong wind in the afternoon. A high temperature tomorrow 43, so at least 10 to 15 degrees cooler than it has been the past couple of days. We know it's going to rain. The precipitation in this storm, anywhere from a half inch to an inch or more. So that would have been about a foot of snow in some locations if it was all snow. But as we know, it's just too mild right now. So this starts off as rain as it arrives late tomorrow afternoon into the evening. There is snow showers uh, back to the north and northwest of our viewing area. And then overnight Saturday into Saturday morning, excuse me, overnight Friday into Saturday morning, that's when the rain changes to snow. That time frame, when does that happen? dictates how much snow we get. I'm going to keep the snow totals of around uh, two inches along the lakefront, maybe a little less down toward the state line, and two to four elsewhere. There could be some isolated higher amounts in this west and north of Milwaukee. Once again, it all depends upon when this storm system uh, starts to change from rain to snow. There are computer models yesterday that were saying three to five. Today they're saying 15. And the ones that were saying 15 yesterday are saying two to four. So you get the idea. There's a lot of uncertainty in this storm. <laughs> it's going to be a wet storm, though, and a wind storm as well. 43 tomorrow with temperatures dropping in the evening and that rain changing to snow. 37 on Saturday. Look for about 2 to 4 inches of snow. And then breezy and a little bit of sunshine on Sunday. And then another couple of chances for some snow on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. We might just have a white Christmas after all.